So I'm just going to show you how to create a couple of doors in uh, Doom Builder. Uh, my preferred map format is Doom in hexen format due to the increased functionality. Just need to change the grid size to 16 by pressing the right square bracket button. Just going to create a couple of sectors. And finally the one for the door. I'll create a small door first. Zoom in a bit more. There you go. Uh, so I'm going to create another sector for for a larger door. Uh, these two lines are the right way round because they're facing outwards, but there was one on this other door where it, where this line is facing the wrong way, so I just need to change the direction by clicking on, by selecting the line and pressing the F key. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is to change the ceiling height to be the same as the floor height. So that's zero. I'm going to change the ceiling texture to be one that I usually like to use for doors. Uh, now I'm going to change the texture for the actual door. So it's always the upper texture. These textures here are ideal for doors due to the there being then being the same height as the room, which is 128. So I just need to change that to zero because uh, Doom Builder likes to um, try and correct it for you. Uh, it needs to be a repeatable action if you want uh, the player to be, be able to open the door more than once. Uh, normally, you would allow monsters to um, activate the door too. So the action that you need is 12, which is door raise. Movement speed for a normal door is 16, and the close delay is usually 100, 150. And you need to set this to player presses use. So I'm just going to do that on the other door now, a slightly larger door. I'm going to make this one a lot faster than the other door. And finally you need to amend these lines here, the uh, where the door runs on the side. Uh, so you need to press this, which um, means that the texture doesn't move with the, the door, it stays stationary. And the texture that you would normally use is door track, but obviously you can use whatever one you want to. Uh, that's fine. Uh, now I just need to put the player in. Um, and now that's uh, ready for testing out. So as you can see here are the two doors, and let's see if they work as expected. Yep, that's fine. Um, you can see that the door track doesn't move as desired. 
Uh, this is the faster Picador, so let's see how fast it goes. As you can see, that's uh, a lot faster. And again, the texture doesn't move either. And because I set the repeatable action box, I can open and close it as many times as I want. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, obviously there are other doors, such as ones that stay open and ones that are activated by keys. Um, so you, you can just have a look and see what other options are available. Um, making doors is one of the first things you would normally do when creating a level. Although the first level I ever, I ever made didn't have any. Uh, because I used a much less advanced uh, editor than Doom Builder. But anyway, best of luck.